What is good? And welcome to another video. Today I'm out with Oliver, who's back at the car somewhere, and we're on our way to a little nature reserve along the Overberg here on the, in the Southern Cape, looking for frogs, some snakes as usual, and a bunch of other little special reptiles. So we're gonna see what we're gonna get after. We have our first frog that's way down there barking. Oliver's just gone to get his net and we're gonna see if we can get hold of it. So we managed to, well, Oliver managed to finally catch one of these river frogs. I've just put it in this sort of little plastic container just so we can try to ascertain which species it is, um, whether or not it's the species we're looking for. But yeah, as soon as we're done, we're just going to let him go. So we just got to our campground, well, before we even set our tent up, we found this big blue tarp. Oliver's got a raucous toad over there, nice little one. Um, randomly flipped the shed. Got a good looking red-sided skink over here. Let me grab a quick couple photos. Got a stinky little slug eater, which is always a pleasure to see. And two really big Black thread snakes, left with high flops. I've just we found this little bucket here just to chuck them in here quickly, just because there's so much panic of all of these things being all over the show. This guy's just chilling. Um, but yeah, good start so far. We've got like one, two, three, four species of herps already, and we've been here five minutes. So good start. This is just that little common slug eater that we got under the top. Um, just making the decision to actually let him go just in some natural habitat. Seems that it's in the back of the garden there where the guys are obviously working. So he'll probably land up getting killed. So just let him go in here in the rock pile. And I'm sure he'll go on and find a myriad of slugs and snails for him to eat. And yeah, there he goes. It's the common slug eater. We just finished setting up our camp. My sleeping bag unfortunately got wet, so it's just drying here on the deck. But yeah, quite a nice setup. Tried to do a time lapse of the tent. It didn't work, but we've got the same tent with here with Oliver that we use for the Cedarberg. There's a car, and we're gonna head into the forest and see if we can turn up some frogs. Of course, we're finally just down here in the forest. Just to give you a look of the sort of habitat we're in. It's quite typical Afro-Montane forest, so it's quite dry. There's loads of sort of fallen logs on the ground that we're sort of working through. And yeah, we're hoping to see some breviceps, um, the strawberry rain frogs. There's also going to be some ghost frogs, hopefully further down on the trail. Some chameleons tonight, hopefully. And yeah, pretty much whatever else we're going to find. But as soon as we connect with something, I will let you know which hopefully won't be too much longer. Pretty far along into this forest now. 
can see the vegetation is starting to change from the pretty sparsely or pretty densely planted vegetation to these massive, I think these are redwood trees, which are not indigenous to the area. So I'm not entirely sure why they're here, but they seem to be thinning them out. But I mean, these trees are absolutely massive. Um, I have no idea where Oliver is. I haven't seen him in at least an hour. But yeah, I'm not having much luck at all. I'm gonna try head through that way into the sort of indigenous forest a bit more. But yeah, what is the time? It's 25 past five in the afternoon. Still got at least probably another hour and a bit, hour and a half of sunlight. So we are gonna get after it and hopefully turn some sort of reptile up in the forest. Otherwise it's been a little bit of a bust besides the flurry of reptile activity we got when we first got here under those tops. But some good looking logs coming up, so I'm gonna give it a go. So we're still out of here in this forest, just unfortunately not having much luck at all. I see the water level is really low, but yeah, I've sort of lost uh, Oliver in the process somewhere. But I mean, you can see this forest is absolutely epic. Um, now if we could just find some herbs while we're in the forest, that'd be even cooler. But yeah, I'm gonna carry on sort of down this trail and I think it eventually hooks around back towards the entrance, but I'm going to poke around these rocks at the bottom of this sort of really dry stream and see if we can turn up any frogs in the mix down here. But I'm not having much hope that we can have much luck down here, although we could possibly turn up some river frogs and maybe the ghost frogs if we're really lucky but we might have to try for the ghost frogs in the, the faster flowing streams but in the meantime i'm gonna keep on at it so we're in the base of this forest and sort of a riverbed stream here um and of course oliver is busy flopping around um playing in the in the riverbed um he just found a, another really good looking frog this is the eastern ghost frog teleophrinus orientalis and um, this is a little small and um probably get about double the size um so this is probably a male since oliver heard it sort of calling from this little stream bed here um, as you can see just to give you an idea of the habitat it's it's pretty expansive so um, he did pretty well to find this guy just like he's doing now, just cruising around calling from beneath the rocks. But yeah, gonna snap some pictures quick and see what else can turn up. So before I could even get to photos of that male that Oliver found a couple of seconds ago, uh, he turned up this. This is a much bigger, much nicer female eastern ghost rock. As you can see they got these really cool sensors. If it wants to chill, okay, it's just on a mission. But yeah, I'm gonna whip up my camera quick and get some photographs and give you guys a little bit a better look um but yeah so everyone's kind of been asking me what i shoot with um, when it comes to the herps and a bit of behind the scenes sort of look at things um as you can see there's the, the ghost frog just on the rock there that's what the picture looks like obviously but yeah just to give you um a more of an idea of my chaotic looking setup here i've got the canon 5d mark 3 i'm shooting on a hundred more prime L series Canon lens. I've got the MX, I think it's MX24, 24 EX or whatever it is, um, twin flash system, some built in diffusers on the front just to soften the light slightly. And this crazy sort of octopus arm bracket thing on the side is generally what I use for wide angles and when I'm doing full body specimens of particularly large snakes, which I obviously don't need in this case because you're just seeing the little frog. Um, but yeah, I might do another segment on this at a later stage, but for now, that's the setup. It weighs a ton. It's kind of impractical to lug around because it's just so heavy in my backpack. But yeah, it gets the job done, and the habitat here is amazing. So after linking up with Oliver, he managed to turn up his lifer strawberry rain frog. This is Brevisips acutorostris. And you can see this is a pretty small one. Um, I've previously seen them here in this same forest back in 2018 and they get about double the size so it's a relatively small one um, but a really good looking one um, if you have a look i'll just show you upside down quick 
um, have a look at the belly it's got this crazy sort of it almost looks a bit like a sort of astrological fucking I don't know what the fuck I'm saying so we just came out of the forest now after finding those ghost frogs the river frogs and of course the breviceps you can see you made it just in time for golden hour Oh, it looks really skewed, but this road's at quite an angle. You can see now the sun is obviously just starting to go. We still have a long walk all the way up that hill and Oliver's down there. But yeah, we're going to head back now to our sort of campsite, sort some dinner out. Not that there's much left. And then we'll wait for it get to get dark and then we're going to head down some of these sort of forest alleyways and pathways and hopefully get off to some of these chameleons which we've been battling to see although we haven't seen at all um but yeah all of us for our thing to see them i last saw them in 2018 so i'm super keen to see them again as well but like i said gonna head back make some food chill out for a bit then we're gonna head back out when it gets dark as you can hear we're back to the frogging game just got a little painted reed frog just poking around on the reeds here. Not a very vibrantly coloured one, but nice to get one either way. Let's see what else we can find. So we're in a night shining for chameleons just in the sort of foresty open sections along the trail here. Um, I last was here about five years ago back probably yeah five years ago back in 2017 is that four years ago whatever it is oh <laughs> uh, yeah when i was last year and we managed to turn up a couple i think we got about 10 or so but yeah i haven't been back since don't really know if anyone else has seen them since they're one of the undescribed species which makes it pretty exciting but pretty frustrating at the same time but we're gonna give it a red hot crack and see if we can't turn up any. If not, we'll call a night and we'll head back out tomorrow. But a couple of things we're gonna look for on the mountains and hopefully turn up a whole bunch of more herbs. Yeah, it's just shining for chameleons. I thought I had one sleeping here, but it's just an Afro gecko just hanging out on this branch. What a bummer. I saw it from underneath like that, so it looks just like chameleon with the legs and the feet over but I'll grab him to get a quick record shot regardless and we'll keep on we're pretty much almost at the end of our options here and we haven't had any luck on the chameleons unfortunately but Afro gecko better than nothing shows I'm at least being able to see if we spot any creatures in the branches so we just got back to camp um no chameleons unfortunately bit of a bummer but I'm gonna make some tea, go to sleep, and that's pretty much gonna be it for tonight. We'll see what we get up to tomorrow. Might stop in a few spots along the way. Hope we still gotta pack up. Can't see anything, but we could pack up all of this. Oh, campfire. It's just about ready to die. But yeah, it's been a long day. We've trekked really hard. Haven't found too much. Managed to get one or two little targets, but until tomorrow, catch you then. <clears throat> Good morning from the inside of the tent. Um, pretty much just woke up. We're gonna see. I'll show you what our campsite actually looks like during the day and what is happening here. For some reason, Oliver slept over there today just a view from the back Yo. and one of the most important things of today is just our, our mega coffee making station which I don't even drink coffee so I don't know why I'm saying that but yo, see all of his priorities were high last night <laughs> well, we got some safe for breakfast today yo that's gonna be disgusting <laughs> So I don't think much frogging was going on with those, with between those two. But, yeah. That's what's happening this morning. I think 
A little bit later, we're going on that mountain here to go look for some frogs. So we're finally out in the mountain, all of us way down there. We're looking for just a location. Hopefully turn up some of these mountain toadlets that he's trying to find. I saw some a couple months ago in the Crook Vinters Hook. But yeah, Oliver we couldn't join then, so he's frothing at the bit to try to see if he can find them at this location. Not too sure if I'll have too much luck, it's not that wet. I think these guys need a little bit more moisture. But we are gonna get after it. Haven't seen much else. I mean, on the scout walking through this thick sort of rest of your grasses looking for grass lizards, some steps and that sort of stuff, but just yeah, not having too much luck. But hopefully I see it's starting to get a lot damper here now. Hopefully we'll have a bit of luck and get into these frogs. So it just got ridiculously windy, so apologize for the wind noise, but we are heading over this little yellow field, right about somewhere down there. There's a pin, and we are gonna. So the pin produced a whole bunch of moisture in this little saturated part. But yeah, here is a whole mass of metamorphs and tadpoles of the Trudeau's mountain toad, which just the species we're actually looking for. But as you can see, most of these little tadpoles don't have legs, and most of these little froglets still have tails. So. Not really what we're looking for, so Oliver liked that again, trying to find his adult frogs. But they're all in this sort of mess of sphagnum moss in these little pools. Hopefully they will metamorphosize before they will subsequently die. But yeah, we are going to head back and I'll pack up our camp setup. What is up is now the next day we've just left the reserve where we sort of spent the last two nights um we just stopped at a place on the way back to cape town where there's an invasive population of nice and the dwarf chameleons um and i was just walking along this edge of the forest or the edge of the road here and have a go we got one already it's a pretty big nice looking nice the dwarf chameleon um, and like i said this is an introduced population they're about uh, probably about 200 and 250 kilometers away from where they're supposed to be so always nice to see them but I'm gonna grab a quick camera pick if, sorry if the single focus grab a quick camera pick and see if we can't turn up anymore awesome so here's just this Neisner dwarf chameleon I managed to just get him down from the branch for a bit of video you can see they beautiful chameleons this looks like a probably a young male oh, they do get a bit bigger but these are probably one of the nicest species of chameleon in the western cape you can see that super long tail well adapted to their sort of forest sort of lifestyle so i mean get a bit of angle here he keeps on the move but yeah he's got these brilliant sort of pale peachy patches with these big white sort of um spots just on the cast there behind the eye these dark orange eye sockets and um, this is a really yeah a really good looking specimen they're not always this sort of presentable but at the same time some of them are just absolutely ridiculous but yeah super chuffed to see this guy I'm gonna snap a quick on like a couple more photographs and um, i got a couple of in situs but nothing too great but yeah nice quick stop on our way back to Cape Town. This dude just walked right off the branch onto my hand just to give you an idea of what it looks like, sort of in size comparison. But yeah, I got a couple of photographs of him. Um, we're just gonna let him go right back into the tree now if you'll get off my arm be gone with you brother and cool so that is it we're heading back to cape town we didn't get all of our targets we didn't see a heck of a lot of stuff but we had a good time so thanks so much for watching and i will catch you on the next one